house, the clubhouse, the clubhouse, the clubhouse. Old friends call in to play some games and hoping some new friends will do the same. It's a party in the clubhouse, the clubhouse. Okay, let's make a little noise. We're live. Channel 15, yay. It's a puppy party. What's up, everybody? Tuning in on Channel 13, as I know many of you are. Hi. My name is Adieu. Sometimes people clap. <laughs> hey, dude, Not is... about me today. Uh -oh. No, no, no. With me uh, is our first Wednesday of the month guest, Secondhand Hounds. It's Donnie. We're having a puppy party. Hi. And we have uh, one of your recent litters. Uh -huh. uh, what kind of puppies are we looking at so today? So today we have Great Dane puppy. Great Dane? Yes. Uh, so That, which is to me very hilarious to see what will become a massive yeah. dog. Well, and start out so tiny, right? Little baby. I know, I know. And some of them are, you'll see, are much smaller than the others. Of course, right now the only one that we have left to play with is Minnow, because all the friends are out there. We got a lot of people in so, our audience. Uh, but Minnow is able to be held as well if anybody needs a fix. Um, we got a lot of puppies floating around. So what are, what was the theme for today's? Uh... So uh, the puppies have a, the puppies were born on Father's Day, and the um, person who was fostering them had just lost her father, who was a fisherman. Aww. So all of them are named after fish. Come here, you're... Or except for, except for the biggest puppy who is named Shrimp. But we didn't know it was going to be the biggest puppy when she was born. No, we didn't. So if you'll notice, some of these guys are walking funny. They're walking funny because they just got collars put on for the first time. And they are not happy. And they're they like, like they haven't learned how to scratch them off yet. So they're like walking around they're kind walking of weird. They're walking around with a le one leg in the air. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh, no, they have fleas. No. Which is bad for me. Hey, dude. Um, so, yeah, you see that it looks like there's an injury. It's just I don't know how to walk yeah, with a collar on. I don't know on. what's going on. Everything's new when you're a baby. Everything's so new. We've got a lot of people. Are you, are you ready to hold a puppy? Hi. Uh oh, this one's biting me. Hey, oh. hey dude, I think you might have to retape your mic. It's redirect, a little, redirect. A little soft. Okay. Hi, you coming back? Hi. What? Well, that one. So that's a good question. Minnow, it has what we call micro eye. So these guys are purebred dogs, um, but the, the problem is that they were bred Ow. irresponsibly. So we have a couple of issues. Minnow over here, and we knew this when we saw the puppy come out white, we're like probably gonna be deaf and blind. Wow. Um, and he is- Is that better she, than money? She is- Check one, two. She is, um, we know partially, can partially hear and can partially see. But she has what's called micro eye, so one she eye does. is just small. One eye's a little small. She yeah. can see out of it okay? She can see, no. She can see out of the other one pretty well. She probably could use glasses, but we're not going to do that to her. Aww. So, But you know what? She's fine. She's a little, a little bit louder than the others because her other senses are compensating. Sure, sure, but sure. But other than that, she's fine. And then we have the littlest one here today. I think it's... Pike. Is, Is that Pike? Pike? So Pike has a, a kidney issue. So oh, we just honey. make sure that he has lots of water to flush him out. Oh, um, but that's what happens when we, everybody loves the polka dotted puppies. So that's not okay. That's called a Merle. And when you do two of those, those are, those actually are genetic problems to be a Merle. So when you breed them together, you get the recessive bad genes come forward. So that's my science thing for the day. Do, if you go to a breeder, make sure they breed responsibly. But come to get rescue dogs instead. Then you won't have that problem. Aww. Yay! Uh, you want to? Can you go for or, Oh, God, you're so huge, sit? shrimp. And we'll bring one. This is their first time away from mama, so they might be a little extra wiggly and whiny. They're fine. They're okay. And I want to say something too. You know, everybody that's here holding puppies, you're actually helping. Yes. That's actually, tell, talk about that. So the job that you guys have today is to socialize the babies. Every one of you 
smells, sounds, moves differently. And the more exposure they get to different situations, the better dogs they're going to be in their forever homes. As you, we've all run into animals and humans, COVID, who were not socialized well and have no idea how to handle themselves in social situations. Right. Oh, where you going? Oh. Look at Minnow. Where you going? Minnow, Minnow, Minnow. And they just can't stand these collars. Right? Oh, they hate the collars. Hate the collars. They are not happy with collars. You'll that be, would be fine. Weird, right? Oh like, yeah. I was a baby. Again, sudden, COVID. Oh. Remember when we all had to wear pants? Yeah. We were we lived in sweats, and then all of a sudden we we're like, oh wait, I have to go out in public and clothe oh, yeah. real real things. I can't just go out in my room. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same. I used to do. Well, so these are great games. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit. It's so funny that we're doing a show. It's such a buzz in here. I know. You think nobody's listening to us, but it's all right. we have a lot of people tuning in. That's right. Hi, by the way, everybody. Um. Well, let's talk Great Danes. Yeah. What's the best part about Great Danes? Okay, so oddly enough, most people don't realize this. Great Danes, we all know, we call them house ponies because they're enormous. Although their mama's little. She's only like 70 pounds. So that's which a, is tiny, tiny for a small Dane. small for a Dane. Yeah. But they are great apartment dogs. Yeah. Because they don't want or need a lot of exercise. Okay. You can take, you'll see them in a lot of big cities. People have Danes. They just go for a little walk and they're done. So these guys evidently play for 15 minutes and then nap. They are right. done, even as puppies. Which I is actually great. have a friend who lives downtown. <laughs> we have a climber. Her name is Trignani. She has a, one of those small little like condo apartments that's like oh. one bedroom. <laughs> yeah. And she has a great day. Yeah. I mean, you. Yeah. Because <laughs> it loves its cage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just loves to, the couch. The weird that I think that I don't understand is we always talk about when you're getting an animal, if you know what your dog is bred for, it helps you with training. Danes are, hey, let's be aware of the camera, FYI. Um, the Danes were actually bred to like fight yeah, like off to the bears sides. or something. Right. Kind of weird, which they're like the least aggressive dogs you'll ever find, but they're just big. Yeah, they're big. Um, but they're, they're good guard dogs because they have enormous barks. But they are not going to defend your house. They're going to bark and run away because they are scary. Yeah. yeah. Scaredy dogs. Oh, they'll bark at that squirrel. Oh, yeah. And then if the squirrel comes at them, they'll run away screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Would you... Is somebody behind me? I thought there was. Oh, no, you're over there now. That's shrimp. That's the littlest. Or the biggest, That's I mean. the biggest one. Yeah. His name is Shrimp. I love it. I know. She's pretty. You are pretty. She's... I know I'm pretty. It's right here. You don't even know what you want. I know. This one? So most of these puppies are available for adoption. They will be going on the website. They had their intake photos last night, so I'm guessing on Monday. Uh, one or two are actually spoken for, but the rest are available. And Mama Zoe, who is the sweetest, and she looks like these guys, a little more white. Um, and she is, like I said, she's a... She's what we call a pocket Dane. She's like 70, 80 pounds. I know. Oh. So much to say. Um, are there any, like some dogs have like special kind of medical things? Mm -hmm. one, uh, anything to worry about with Great Danes? Any large breed dogs, you're always going to have to watch for the hips because um, it's a lot of weight on them. And um, unfortunately, the large breed dogs aren't with us as long as we'd like. Oh. Um, they have a shorter oh, lifespan, so it's Im especially important to keep them oh. healthy by not getting them overweight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good to know. Good um, to know. Any of the big dogs, you know, it's just, okay, I'm going to put you on your back. Let's see how you handle that. I'm going to do your tummy. Oh. oh. See the blue eyes? Yeah. That's a sign of a deaf, a white dog, blue eyes. White dog, blue, blue eyes. eyes. If it's not a breed that normally is that, we always look for deafness. Really? Yeah. It's just showing, it's the recessive genes are showing up. So, you want to go say hi, Minnow? Come here. Do I say hi to someone? Come here, Minnow. He's a little more squirrely because he's trying to hear and see and he can't very well, so just be aware of that. But, so just keep, just stick around nearby for him. So, Minnow is a double Merle, meaning two Merles came up and it's a nightmare because it's, so, Micro eye on one side, the other eye is partially blind, and then part he's partially deaf. But 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 a normal puppy and louder because of that. 
Because he can't hear himself? It's like when you, you, yeah. you, you know when you have yeah. a gra grandpa can't quite hear so he yells a lot? Yeah. So when the car, we were driving in the car, one was loud. That was Minnow. Look at, see, I see, take this I, I know. Hi, this, hi Perch. I hi. love that these dogs, they're so not used to the collar. Yeah, the they don't even know how to walk. Well, because they're trying to they're scratch, trying to at, scratch the same at the same time. They don't oh, know what they're doing. You, do, you, sat, you got a good scratch. Good baby. Just leave it. A, well, if you want to scratch, but it's not going to go away. I know. They're just like, what are you doing? Why? And this is their first time you away can't. from Mama. Yeah. I should take that back. Last night they did intake without her. That's true. But this is first time away, 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 away. away yeah. So these guys are coming to my house this weekend. So I'm going to have them Friday to Monday. That's what? my new thing. My new thing is as a foster, um, because it's so hard to get a whelping fosters. We like to give them an option. So people are like, I want to whelp, but gosh, it's an eight to ten week commitment. Yeah. And I travel, so I'm now becoming. The, tra the person when they travel, they bring the dogs to me. Oh, okay. And I love okay. it. So I have them like for a weekend here or there. I just take a litter in, and it gives our and it gives our whelpers a break because you know we need we. Uh... Are you being wiggly? Yeah. This you think this you little one. Puppy? What is her name? I think that's per uh, that's, that's Pike. Pike. Like, hi, baby. There's a theme. Okay. okay. <laughs> You want to go see your brother or sister or whatever that is? No. No. We're together all the time. Hi. I'm good. Where are you going? You okay? Just climb over me. Hey, let me t ask our audience. Raise your hand if you have a dog at home. If you have uh, a pet. Anyone have a Dane, Great Dane at home? No. Uh, anyone want a Great Dane at home? <laughs> Yeah. Because this is one of two Dane litters we have right now. The other one yes. is Great Dane Irish Wolfhound Mix. Oh my oh. goodness. They are, and they were at my house last weekend. They just turned five weeks old, so they've got a couple of weeks before they're available for adoption. But um, they are Brindle, which is that brown and gray, and oh, they're so pretty. And they're oh. fuzzy. They have just like, the, like you can see they're gonna be wiry, so I'm like, oh my gosh, wiry Great Danes. I cannot wait. Okay, I, I still can't get over it. Yeah, I still can't get over this collar. Bit. I know. So fun. Look at. You can tell the whelpers that don't put collars on their pup. Again, they're not you, limping because they're the hurt. puppies. They're limping because they don't understand why they have collars on and they're trying to scratch them off while they're walking. <laughs> oh, good so potty. Funny. Right oh, behind you. It's a oh. pee. It's a pee. Just be aware. All right. <laughs> just like my apartment. Okay, no, just kidding. Not a big deal. Just, just be aware. Oh, whoa. So remember, we are. I have any questions you guys have for these dogs, for second in hounds, for rescue in general, call, ask, whatever. I am here. We are here. What's up, Mino? They're all a little. They're concerned. all a little. Yeah. Great Danes are a little neurotic. They are. They are a little neurotic. Here, They're a little confused. Yeah. That's one of the best things about working in rescue is there's different, everybody has a type and we have it. You know what I, what I love to have, it may not be what someone else loves it. People are like coming in droves. This is so cute. I love yeah. it. Love it. Packed up in here. Are Great Danes the biggest breed? No, Irish Wolfhound is the biggest Irish Wolfhounds, okay. Yeah, those no. things can get massive, yes. right? Yes. So the mama of that litter, um, her name is Nellie, and she's about 140 pounds. Okay. That's mama. Dad will be bigger. Not this litter. This litter, we have a baby, a miniature Dane. She's only like 75 pounds, which I know doesn't sound little, but for Danes, that's little. She's just this big. Her name is Zoe, and she's also available for adoption. Yes, she is. She is young, so she's only about a year and a half old. She was done being a mom very early because she's a puppy. Right. She's essentially a puppy. What's up? When you have big, okay. tall puppies like this with teeth, get, you get over nursing fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, ouchie. What are you doing? What are you trying to do? Jesus, you're so cute. You, you're so cute. I think them cute. I just think Minnow's just, like, just lost, doesn't know. Trying to figure a lot out. So why eight weeks? Why eight weeks for? For when they go home? adoption. 
So the puppies go home at eight weeks. At that point, they have had, they get their, they actually had their first round of vaccinations yesterday at six weeks. Okay. And by eight weeks, they have had a good amount of socialization with their mama and with each other. After eight weeks, them being together becomes problematic. Okay. Um, which is why we don't, we've talked about this before, we do not adopt out siblings because of litter mate syndrome. When you have them at eight weeks, so these guys get along at six weeks. Two weeks from right now, they'll all be in separate timeouts because they'll be trying to attack each other. All constantly, yeah. yeah. They're constantly playing in rough houses. That's a good one. <laughs> that I love putting puppies on my their backs because they grab your hands. It's the cutest thing. And this is part of their socialization because the vets will put them on their backs to look at them. So if we never put them on their backs, they flip out. So we play with their teeth, we play with their nails. I mean, these guys have probably had their nails trimmed already at six weeks, probably. Well, no, they've probably had them trimmed like four or five times. So we trim them regularly and they get used to it. Hi. I know. I saw one doggy this dog owner is hideous. that I'm sorry. had trouble clipping. That had trouble um, clipping its dog's nails. Yeah. So he wrapped his head in uh, saran wrap and smeared peanut butter across his forehead. Leaned in, and all the dog did was lick his forehead. Oh, the forehead. forehead! I think he even wrapped his head. I'm like, he no, can't not his please. Face, his forehead. I'm like, this is not something we advocate. <laughs> We don't That's cute. But yeah. yeah, so the dog just let I've seen a couple other things. Now there are people will do you want this one? Yeah. Of course. Are you sure? All right. So other things that people tricks that people will do for tr trimming dog snails when they're not into it. Yeah. They have things you can take and they'll put peanut butter on the wall in the bathroom, on the bathtub. They also do that for bathing. So they lick that the whole time you do nails. There's also a lot of people, not so much with a full grown Great Dane, there are slings that you can buy now. Oh, sure. That you put the pup, the dog in and, and suspend it from midair and you can trim its nails. Not easy to do with large breed dogs. But, although if you had a Hoyer at home, you could. <laughs> Is it true like if your dog has big paws, it's gonna be Not limping because it's hurt, limping because it doesn't like the collar and doesn't know how to get it off. Just reminding, I know I've said it before, people yeah, keep saying, ow. Yeah, they're not hurt, they're just dramatic. Yeah, so they're so. trying to scratch themselves. Oh. Yeah, are you go baby. So you were saying something, we were talking about nails, and then I... Oh, big paws? Yeah. Puppies, does that mean it's gonna be a big dog? Sometimes. Yeah. Not always, um, but it can. Um, these guys don't even seem like they have, well, when you spread it out, when little... You spread it, I was gonna yeah. Say, yeah, yeah. When they step down, but I mean, it, 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 there's literally, if you need a dog of a certain size, just don't get a puppy. Right. You know, just don't do it. So remember the litter that I had where mama was in Newfoundland? Yes. Those puppies are all, most of them. Um. We're having wardrobe issues over here. <laughs> but, um. Minnow chewed on my I don't blame Minnow. I'm suing. We, you know what? Maybe we need to get like Britney Spears like, you know, like headsets. Because they're not likely to get those. Every every time I try new new pants to hide the mic pack. Oh, I remember I wore my overalls last time. That worked really well. I forgot. But I had overalls and they had a pocket in the front. So I just put the pack right here. And zipped it in. Oh, I remember that. I was like, this morning, I was like, what did I wear last time that worked so well? The dude has <laughs> to wear more overalls. I've always <laughs> said that. Look at this funny toy. Are these like pandas in a pea pod? Okay, I'll, well, sure. Right? Oh, they're so cute. Hey. You know, Wednesdays, first Wednesdays of the month, yep. favorite days, not only secondhand hounds, but we got bingo today. Uh, I know. So, uh, oh, oh, oh you know, my glasses. It's not, it's not really a toy. Can let's, we not? Let's no. That's not what. This that's is why used puppy for. potty pads are not always great with puppies. In theory, until they realize, oh, I can play with that. We have other things. There's things. There's, look at this. I need something that makes squeakies. Here. Oh, good. That'll work. Oh my gosh! I think you you you're you're good at that. The puppy's fast asleep. <laughs> oh, just 
knocked it out of my hand. So there are t it, there are two pretty famous oh. TV dogs who are great dates. Who knows the famous great? Who names? are the famous TV show great dates? Cartoons. Cartoon. Actually, I just thought of. Marmaduke? Is Clifford? That's three, maybe. Is Marmaduke one? From Marmaduke is one. What's another one? Come I, on, guys. I have a guess. Woo -woo. I have a guess. It Does what? it talk? Jeez. What? Does it talk? It, oh, it talks like this. Oh. <laughs> Scooby-Doo is a great day. Someone said Clifford. I don't know if Clifford the Red Dog is supposed to be a great day. I do not know the answer to that. But I bet someone will look it up for me. Hey, what are you looking for? It's you know, here. so Great Danes are not known as the scholars in the dog world. Okay. I, I did find out what the... Clifford is a giant Visala. V-I-Z-S-L-A. Visla. 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 That would not be my guess, but okay. Every Vishla I've known is a smooth-coated gray dog, but, you know, it's a cartoon. You do your own. So what do you guys think? Any questions about these guys? What would you name them if they were yours? Would you keep the name? Oh, one time you brought in you a one. litter, and it was all 80s rock bands. That was my, my litter. That was, oh, was it? Yeah. Only ah! one. Ah! Only ah! Okay. Did not like that noise, but that's good. <laughs> okay. it, it worked. Do you remember, only one of the uh, those puppies kept the band name. Really, which one, Jovi? Jovi. Yep, I was gonna say, yeah. Jovi. Halen, who was my favorite, oh, okay. is now <laughs> Esther. It just doesn't move. No, they're just. <laughs> oh, little baby. <laughs> So you were saying they're not known as the scholars. They're not necessarily the brightest dogs. Right. But that's okay. They have their size going for them. They don't need to be smart. Well, it's just so funny <laughs> that they're one of the biggest breeds, but they're like, you call them like apartment ponies or yeah, something? House ponies. House yeah. ponies. Yeah. Are they trainable? We're out of puppies. Are they trainable? Yes, they are trainable. Are they smart like that? They'll follow? I mean, they're trainable. Okay. For basic commands, I've never. Now, there's always to be an exception. I've never heard of them like being trained to do like a lot of elaborate things. Right. You know, like like you get a like a, a border collie or an Aussie Shepherd that can like basically write encyclopedias. You know, they're so so, they're so smart. smart. Yeah. They can be trained to do all number of things. Danes are just pretty furniture. Yeah. They're lovely. They also are lap dogs. Even if they are 140 pounds yeah, they or love. 200 pounds, right. they think they are petite. That so when sweet. I had Nellie, again, who's 140, not their mom, a different Dane at my house last week, her head was this big. And it was that hot, hot weed club yep. laid on me the whole time. And I'm like, okay, this is not a weighted blanket situation. Get off of me. Yeah. And she's like, no. Here I am, jowls slopping everywhere. They also oh, yeah. seem to be very loyal to their family. Very loyal. They're very loyal. Very loyal. Like they really yep. want to know if there's yep. like newcomers. Yeah, they're they're visitors. a little nervous, so they're they're kind of I guess like ponies. They're a little skittish. Oh. Yeah. They're like I'm gonna stay. I'll make a lot of noise, but then I'm gonna stay over here once my people have let them in. Right. But in the sense of, if you, their bark is enormous. Right. And if you come up to a house and there's this great Dane head sitting there, you might think twice. Right. Whereas actually, I'd be more fearful walking into a house with a chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. That's just. Oh, gosh. I mean, they're just, they're busy. Have you ever known busy. anybody that has a great Dane and a chihuahua? Yeah. People love to have it. And usually it's like the little one's going to be giant and this one's going to be little. You know, they're going to yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> So let's talk, uh, we usually go through this, like you want to get a dog, yep. uh, but you don't want to adopt an adult dog, you do want to start over with a puppy. You're saying if someone wants to, if not that, that to. yeah, that's not, not we re don't necessarily recommend that, you can adopt an adult dog. You can. I would adopt but an adult dog over a puppy, I'm just saying. That's you. That's a lot you. of, it, it, you know, it's it's a lot of work to have a puppy. Sure, and, but I would but, say this if you have young kids that you want those to grow up together. Sometimes. Or 
It depends on how much work you want. Sure. But if you are adopting a puppy, if you've chosen you want a puppy, that's fine. Just, you know, you need to be aware of all the training that goes involved with a dog of any age. Um, I think one of the first steps we always talk about is get a kennel. Get a kennel. These puppies uh, are have kennels in their pen that they go into. Are these puppies seven or eight weeks? They are six weeks. Six weeks. They were born uh, Father's Day, June 18th. Aww. But you start when you get a puppy, one of the first things is kennel. Yep. Because all like dogs, dogs, all dogs will end up in a kennel during their lifetime. At some point. Because if they go to the vet, they're going to be put in a kennel. If they go to the groomer, they're going to be put in a kennel. And if the yes. for only time they do that is in those situations, then they're going to be fearful of a kennel. So you got to train them that a kennel is just it's another fine. piece of furniture. Yep. It's their it's just room. a thing. It's, it's where my, my dog, I never lock her in her kennel anymore, but I always say, she, I, whenever she's overwhelmed, like she is when I have all the puppies, she's like, I'm out. She just goes to her kennel and like, I'm, that's Check right. Out, that's great. That's it. Because no one else goes in there. Right. It's very horrifying to her when other fosters realize that they can go in the kennel and they're like, hi. Like, Kit, what are you doing in my room? She doesn't do anything. Yes, ma'am. So the, uh, that is a good question. We okay, get them the from all is, over. Where do you guys get your puppies? Yep. Yeah. So this litter uh, was from Kentucky. Mama was from Kentucky. The Dane Wolfhound litter that I had last weekend was an owner surrender locally. Uh, hopefully not. Um, we no one can just give us a dog simply because the animals don't live in our office. They live in foster homes. So if someone says, hey, uh, for XYZ reason, I have a dog, I can't keep it, we have to find a foster first before we can take it. If, so these guys were born in rescue. They live at the foster's home. Yep. We want to keep them together. Yeah, we want to keep them together till they're eight weeks old. Yeah. Yeah. And so they'll take mom and the puppies were born at her house. With, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we want them to stay together for developmental reasons until they're eight weeks old. Yeah. Um, and then so mama last night went to, <laughs> you're over it. <laughs> Jeez, how do you sit on the floor like that? I, a sitting is fine. It's the getting up that's hard. Oh, sure, sure. I just, <laughs> I just, I just don't get up. used to a bean bag. Yeah. I wait till the cameras are off before I get up. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so Mama last night went to a new foster, but the babies are all staying together for two more weeks. So Mama's like, I'm done. She's she's only one and a half, so she was really young. Yeah. So she and she was just like from the very beginning when I took them in so I as a temp foster this litter when they were about three weeks old. So they were still nursing, and I had to sit in the pen and pet Mom. If I left the pen, she followed me. She wanted to be, they're very much, wanted, the Danes very much want to be with their people. And I was her person as the minute that I, that that's immediate. People worry about that with rescues, especially in owner center. Oh, it, it, it's going to be so confused when it goes to a new home or it's going to miss its people. Sometimes they do, but they're, dogs are really resilient. Um, they go through some horrific things and then they meet you and they're like wagging their tail and they're ha they love you. So th when the fosters come to my house within within 24, within 12 hours, they immediately like, okay, you're the person that's feeding me, you're mine. So they really adjust very quickly. Shrimp. Shrimp. I love that dog. But yeah, so we get our, we get the animals from all over the place. If someone finds a stray and they call us up and they say, we found this stray dog. We, what's the first thing you do? If anybody finds a stray dog, we've never covered this. Yeah. If you found a stray dog, what's the first thing that you would do? Um, I don't know. Good question. Why did you have your hand up there? <laughs> She's just feeling the moment. Let me see, let me ask. What do you think? You, anybody know if you found a stray dog, what would what you was do the first? First thing you would do. Anybody say it out loud. Yeah. What? What do you think? You, you would take it to an adoption place, Doctor and people place. will do this. People will bring them to yeah, us. We got an answer. 
tag is tag, but what's even more important than a tag is the microchip. If you own a cat or a dog and it's not microchipped, go home and get that done. A hundred percent. It is the no dogs lose their collars, so the tags are gone. Yes, if you haven't done, it is the number one thing we do or a police officer will do or a vet will do. We all have scanners and it's literally, it's a little chip that's put in here. They're all microchipped already. They got their chips last night. Yep, it's, um, not really. I think it's, I think it's like 30 bucks. I'm microchipped. And it's yeah. like a, a size of a rice, right? I microchipped when I was 18. And basically what we do is we then come through with a little scanner and we just scan it like, oh, chip. And it pulls up, oh, there's the chip number. We call the company and say, hey, we have this animal that's chip number 2,748. And they're like, oh, that belongs to Bob Smith. Here's his number. Yes, the police departments have it, vets have it, and rescues have it, other places have it, but that's the first thing you'll do. Wow. And um, we, uh, no lie, I have a girlfriend who works at Secondhand Hounds. Her cat went missing. Seven years later, someone turned it in to a new, took it to a new vet, they scanned it, and it's now back at her house. So, so and those chips are forever. Now our animals, one second, our animals are microchipped to us, However, when they are adopted, then we send you the paperwork and say, go online and change this. And every time you move, every time you change your cell phone number, you need to update that. But if you don't, so if Sue had adopted an animal and moved and forgot, because there's a lot on your plate, to update it, they would still contact us, because we will always keep their microchip on hand. On the, yes, your question, my dear. I was just thinking that I, what if I wanted to get my um, there isn't, as far as we know, that's not a thing. Bye. Okay. Apple, Apple AirTag. Yeah, Apple AirTag is about as good as you're gonna get. I got it installed. Yep. I, I think that there are um, Big Brother ethical things that are questions as to why that hasn't happened personally. Oh, my parents. I am fine with it. I would have done it to my kids, but I would do it to myself, but it's not a thing right now. Maybe someday. Uh, you know, it's, so we'll get further into the simulation. Yeah, exactly. There you go. But that's the first thing you do is you want to make sure that, that you check for a microchip. If they don't have one, then you go on to Lost Dogs or Lost Cats MN and post and look. Those are your resources. We have a whole Lost Dogs department. Okay. So. You guys also do uh, foster cats. We do. We do indeed. Do you ever have, so you have puppy parties. Do you have kitten parties? Parties? We do not do kitten parties. We have tried. So what there's a, a couple of things. One thing, kittens, as lovely as they are, they don't want to do this. They don't want to be held by a bunch of different people. Okay. First of all, they also have, you think these puppy teeth and claws are sharp? Yes. Kitten oh, claws. Oh, Very okay. sharp. Sure. Thirdly, you can't contain a cat. I can put the puppies in here. I can't put the kittens in here, they're gone. And now there's kittens all over the hospital. And now they're, so, they're climbing the cage. Uh, so what we've typically done is, well, the few times we did them, we did them in small enclosed rooms. And I just said, no, we're not doing it anymore. It's just not safe it for the animals. It doesn't seem like, yeah, it seems it's like a bad idea. It's not safe for the animals and it is unfulfilling for the, uh, the and people at the party. And the pads don't really cut it. Like yeah. if they pee and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'd have to bring a litter box. I I became a foster failure for secondhand hounds for their cat. We have Team Money in the booth That's who right. just admitted, yes, she indeed is a foster fail. Yes, yes. for the secondhand hound's cat. It's funny that we say, right? We, it's funny that we, oh, we say, it's a foster fail, it's a foster I know. There's fail. A bad, someone told me there's a great name for it, but I don't remember what, the, uh, there's a better I'd love, phrase. I love a better phrase. All right, we'll try to see. Uh, we have a caller on the line. Let's check in. Caller, hey, what's up? What's your first name? Hey, dude. Hey, it's, it's Timmy. Never, it's not a puppy party until Timmy calls. Hey, Timmy. Hey, man. Hey, it's a puppy party. It is indeed. That's right. I got caribou. He got caribou? <gasps> oh, did you get caribou? I did not have caribou this morning. I should get it on the way home. Who knew that caribou and reindeer are the same thing? Raise your hand if you knew that. No. I got to pet him in. No, you didn't. <laughs> what kind of dog? The, yeah, these are Great, great Danes. Danes. Great Danes. Ooh, so they're going to be very big. 
They're just like here. Scooby, yeah. Just like Scooby Doo, dude. Yes, just That's like right. Scooby Doo. We, we were, were talking about that. We were talking yes. about that. Scooby Doo and. I'm just put, oh, there was also Marmaduke. Marmaduke and. He said Clifford, but he's not. But he's not, okay. He's not. Um, What's the boo? What's up, up to me? What's up to me? Happy puppy party. Here's the shout out to the booth. I love it. Oh. There Ain't no hey, party Timmy. like a puppy party. Bye, dude. See you Have later, Have a great man. day, Timmy. Talk to you next month. Checking in. Timmy, you guys are just, you're, you guys are dog whisperers over there. You two are who doing do you, who great. Who do you have? You have the blue collar. I can't see my, oh, oh my sign fell. Who's our, like, who's our black puppy with the blue collar? Uh, black puppy with the blue collar? Perch. 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 Oh. Chill. Super chill. Danes are very chill. Once, well, they, once they have their moment of barking. What time you got? What time do I have? Oh, you don't have a camera. Eleven thirty-eight. Yeah, it's usually a little past the halfway mark. The puppies are like. Start to pass. You know out. what? I'm getting tired. I know. They're so funny. Um. So there's how many in this litter? There are seven. There are seven. Seven. Is that average for a Great Dane? Uh, no, this high. litter actually, no, this litter, there were actually a couple of others that didn't quite make it. Okay. Um, and that, that will happen. That happens. Um, so there were nine. Nine? Originally. Is that, uh, what, so do bigger dogs have more puppies? Well, how does it Typically, typically a bigger dog will have a bigger litter than a small dog. Um, the other thing that I've heard is, I haven't, I don't know for sure, but I've also heard that, um, the more litters a dog has, the larger the litter will be. Oh, so, so if you're, you're breeding them, they'll or have it's typically a stray, more. You know, that's had a couple. Like, yeah. I think this mama, the way her body looked, that she was incredibly emaciated. Like I said, she was a backyard breeder. Um, and she was not well cared for. And looking at her physical body, I don't think this is her first litter. And remember, she's only about a year and a half old. Okay, oh gosh, yeah. I think she was bred. Okay, okay. Um, but I don't have proof of that, so. You coming in? Let's get you a spot. Here, you yeah, can sit over your... here. Oh, that'll work too. That works. I know. I'm just putting it out there. If you have held a puppy for a little while and there's a friend that hasn't, I know it's tough to share puppies, but it's appreciated. It helps. It helps. It's for good them karma. To, to, for them to experience different humans. Yeah, it's good for the puppies to experience as many different people as they can. So we also do, one of the other things we've talked about that I like to do to help socialize the puppies when they're at my house. Oh, we have a question in the audience. Yes, sir? I haven't held a puppy in a long time. Oh, well, you know, let's let them go first. Okay, I will. That's a good thing you're here That's what month. I always tell my volunteers who work the puppy parties. And yes, you can volunteer to work the puppy parties. Oh, shout um, out. You can hold the puppies before and after, or if there's no guests here. So they always get a little cuddle yeah. time, but they don't get as much as they'd like. So one of the things that we were talking about socializing that I like to do at home, and you can do it with your animals at any age. I literally turn on my TV to YouTube, Sounds for Dogs. And you start really low and do small at a low volume. And um, low volume and for short amounts of time, it'll be like construction noises, car horns, other dogs barking, fireworks. Um, all of the things that you're, your thunder, things that dogs are typically afraid of. So if I just put that as background noise, they don't notice it as adults. So those of oh. us who have to add a dog in their life is afraid of thunder, even as an adult, you can condition them to be less afraid by doing those YouTube videos. Like I said, start very quiet and for small amounts of time and add a little bit more each time. You broke the puppy, Sue. Oh, poor baby. Did you guys get a puppy? You got, you, okay, everybody's got a, their puppy. Make sure you guys have fixture. cleaned your hands and signed the waiver. Just make sure that everybody's done that. I think that a lot of people come, that are here that have work done here it have, have been here last I feel like they it should here. be part of the, the in, in doc paperwork. Yeah. 
Just have people sign their release when they're hired at Children's. I, I, unless you plan talk, to never hold a puppy. Talk about that. Why do we sign a release? So we Why sign a release for a couple of different reasons. You know, clearly these are such vicious animals and, you know, I feel threatened by their very presence. Yes, me too. One but, you know, to eat me. but puppies do scratch and bite. Just they do, just because they're puppies. It's what they do. So we just want to make sure you are like, yeah, I get it. And uh, while they took look how we, look at you looking look at you looking at you Aww. holding a puppy oh, mom looking at you and that we're all looking at you looking at you. Very okay. Meta. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you we're in the simulation. Um, I keep, um, yeah. Well, isn't it already? Well, I tell you, <laughs> word spread. When well, you guys, when we, because we actually didn't start these in person. We started these online yep. when it was COVID and yep. we were all remoting in uh, to and the I channel. And I was sad because I couldn't do my job. I couldn't have puppy parties because nobody could party. So I sat in a room like this and with my volunteers out there and with we held with myself, my, my iPhone and beamed into this. And so we beamed in yeah. and then in 2021, it. March-ish in 2021, yeah. when we came back, we were like, hey, why don't you just come in and do this? And I was like, Love it. Let's do this. Yeah. And it has become very well known throughout the hospital. What? Just oh. make the baby. Just their baby. So this is what's so fun. They want to be held like crazy. And every time I do it, I'm like, oh, you're going to be huge. And you're going to still expect to be held and rocked. Because they do. Get um, ready for 120 pounds. Yes, we actually, baby. and this makes me very, very happy. I have been contacted by a group of nurses from Children's and they're hiring us for two different puppy parties. I'm doing one, I think it might even be in this week that we're doing it at satellite location. So if you have an event. By the way, I want to put, and we, we'll point we, this out. We'll come out, yeah. You guys, you can have a puppy party if you want. You can hire secondhand hounds to come to your birthday party or If your, you are 10 and older, we'll do birthday parties. 10 and older, yeah. okay. Yeah. Is that um, the only qualification? Um, the other qualifications are um, it has to be within a certain distance of our office because we don't want the puppies in the car for like an hour. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. too much. Okay. I have to have room in the schedule. We are booking out eight minimum of eight weeks in advance. So somebody called me the day, hey, my kid's having a birthday this week. And I'm like, yay, happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> Want to do a half birthday party? Yeah. But like this weekend, I'm doing a birthday party for my neighbor who tur is turning 10. And for three years, she's been coming up to me on her birthday going, I turned seven three years till my puppy party. Oh, Eight. my God. So she's That's so funny. excited. That's and so these funny. guys are going to be at the party. And she's just floating. She's so excited about it. But yeah, so we will do it. Younger people are allowed at Did parties. Did you get your puppy? But Did you get your puppy? Thank you guys film? so much for what you do. I appreciate it. <laughs> Why? What did they do? They just held her so much. Held oh, them and they were just okay. so good. They were so good loving on the baby. Oh, I thought they um, were like donated to Star Studio or something. No, no, um, no, no. Um, but yeah, so um, we do uh, we do corporate events, we do block parties, um, we do uh, adult birthday parties. I had somebody last night going, "Oh, I wish I could have a birthday party." I'm like, "Why can't you?" I remember one of my favorites was a surprise bachelorette party where I brought a litter of golden doodle puppies, and the bride. We were there for like 90 minutes, and the bride was like, "We don't have to go to, go out for the rest of the evening, do we?" And I'm like, "Well, the puppies have they have a curfew," and she's like, yeah. "I just want to." Here. Super fun. We've yeah. done things as small as two people. We've done things for 2,000 people. We do galas all the time. But One of these I, well, days. Well, you guys get hired out, and that is yeah. the thing that people pay for. Too. But I want to point out, Secondhand Hounds is here on a volunteer basis. Yeah, we don't charge you guys for this. We do this every month this as is, a free. Is this your fun? This is something that we, it brings us the most joy to be able to do this to this group. And every I time know. I have a volunteer that comes in, they like Sue's always like, I want to work all of them because she's like, I love this. Idea, idea. Aww. We always have such a great turnout. I think we start charging people. I am not getting involved in I'm that. just kidding. I'm not doing <laughs> that, that. No, to the dude's um, oh, t-shirt fund. Oh, to your t-shirt fund? Um, okay. How about I just get you a second in house t-shirt? Oh, will it you? It. Sure. Okay. I'm an XL. Now. <laughs> I will get you that. Um, 
But yeah, so I can, I would like at some point for us to be present at the gala for. Oh, the, the big star gala. Yeah, I think it'd be so much fun to show to to show what we do and, and how what. Can we? Do. Hey, Saber. We need to talk about that. Can you? Can we talk about that? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll note it. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, I would love to be a part of that gala, and because I'm sure that people in the administration care about how this happens, and they don't know what it is. I know. I'm super excited for it. I would love to do it. Star gala is yeah. big, big fun. So, what are the things that they auctioned? Did I tell you the auction. And you, and then we could donate a party to be auctioned off. Oh, yeah. as part of. We the do thing. that all the time. We do that all the time. We're doing one, yeah, we're doing one for Ronald McDonald House is auctioning off one soon. Sarah Barrett, what we are need some you help doing? out there. <laughs> we need some help out there. I'm just making sure everything's secure. Everybody's Everything's good. secure. Thanks, Sarah Barrett. Okay. Um, I wasn't By the way, it's Star sure Gala this happening. year. Yeah. There was one of the live auction items was 18 tickets to see Taylor Swift and a presidential suite. Oh my gosh. It went for $45,000. Yeah, so we don't have, we, we, well, you know, we, so we have our gala coming up. There will be puppies, there will be other dogs. If you want to join us at Bon Appetit, uh, that's coming up in September. And we don't normally have anything like that fancy, but we will have not some only, pretty fun things. Not only that, the one table dropped out, or the one couple dropped out I at 42.5. Yeah. Then, the people get the 45,000, then the auctioneer goes, oh, guess wait, what, there's oh, but more. wait, uh -huh. there's more. We have another set of 18 tickets in a presidential suite for Taylor Swift. Uh -huh. If you're willing to go to 45, like they did, it's they yours. Did. And so they're like that. And so they made $90,000 yep. in like a minute. <coughs> that's, that's a great trick. Did everybody get their puppy fixed? Make sure if you're... If you, Are you still looking for a puppy? There's new people coming in. Make sure they've Come got their in. stuff filled out, please. Up. See, they're sneaking in, Sarah. Come on. Sarah Bear, let's she get She got to distracted by puppies. Nope, it happens. she's getting distracted by herself on camera. Yep. When your hands are dry, come on in. Now it's like it's clearing out. we got extra babies. We've got babies. They need to be held. So for those who are who new to, to the party, the these are six-week-old Great Dane mix, or Great Dane puppies, not mixed puppies, Great Dane puppies. Um, they are, most of them are still available for adoption. Mom is still available for adoption. They'll go on the website, I believe, on Monday. Um, so they are boys and girls, and they're all named after Sue, fish. I got one here. <laughs> oh, my microphone. <laughs> okay. Got it. Oh. And they are all available through secondhand it's hounds. It's so funny. They're so small and cute. By the way, check their tags. Check the names. Yep, they they're all named have after fish. Except so we've got the big one, shrimp. I know. Pike and perch and fish. shrimp and minnow and perch walleye. And pike and walleye. Walleye is actually a great name for a dog. It is like a great that. name for a dog. We're Let's, so we're getting near this time of year where the next litter, I bet you anything, the next litter will be named after state fair foods. Happens every year. Corn dog. Always. always. They're always named pronto. after. It's so funny. The pronto pups. Yeah. Pickle. Yeah, this year that is the food theme this year. Oh my fair. God. It's so overdone. many pickle things. Who raise your hand if you think pickles are overrated right now? I don't. No, I can't get enough. Sarah says yes. Oh yeah. No, no. I, said I, said. I got some votes over here. <laughs> What time we got? I don't have a I time. I know, we don't have a clock up there. Oh, we, it, oh, it is, is up there. It's just 11, really dark. 11.51. 11 11 right. And the clock up there is off, 11 I think. Something wrong with it. Um, anybody have any questions? Yeah. Questions about the puppies, secondhand hounds, rescue in general, dogs in general. Who, who here's ever fostered? Anybody been a foster? Just so you know, fostering is a national, it's a national problem right now. We are turning away hundreds of animals a week um, that will probably not have a positive outcome. And we are not the only ones. There so, are you, every rescue in the Twin Cities is dying for fosters right now. You be a foster, spread the word. Stop be buying fosters. dogs from breeders and fostering. Yeah. Because just so you know, we get a lot of dogs in from breeders and people spend all this money and they think it's going to be this perfect dog that doesn't need training and then all of a sudden they go, oh wait, it needs There's training. Puppies. 
We have puppies here at Children's. It was actually a uh, National Hi. Mutt Day as well on Monday. National Mutt Day. CEO and President Mark Gorlick, ladies He's and like, gentlemen. what? First, we do this the first Wednesday of every month. Oh, so dramatic. I bet that's minnow. minnow. That's minnow, yeah. Is that minnow being dramatic? Yeah. Oh my God, why don't we have a shot of all the nurses together and the, the babies? We need a photograph of this. Look at how cute out? is this. Can I point something Quick. out? Yes. It's taken all but 30 seconds for Dr. Mark Gorlick to block my camera shot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut to the, see there's the back of his head, okay. okay. So to our new guests, we do this the first Wednesday of every month. We invite staff and uh, uh, patients and family members and they all get to come in and this is broadcast to the rooms yep. and um, at both campuses. And I think we're working on a puppy put. We might be working with another organization because you guys already volunteered. We don't want to have you do it again. So we're going to have maybe a find another one. Oh, yeah, so we can have puppies over in St. Paul. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nice. there's a whole population over there that just yeah, doesn't no. get, uh, well, get the love. To be, do they have a studio there? Yeah. We can always swap. No. But you want to be here. We, we know. Okay. <laughs> Are mics still on? <laughs> Donnie and I just had a little private I'm just conversation. Saying, I mean, no, no, can, no. That, I think it's something uh, else in the works. Okay. Um, well, I want to talk a little bit too about what is it You mean? look miserable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at you on screen looking at you. Ah. <laughs> Can we talk just a little bit before we go? Yes. About fostering. Yes, please. How, how do you do that? What does that even mean? So all of these animals live in foster homes. None of our animals live in our office. So these, this litter actually lives with, with mom in one particular home. That's how our well-being works. But if someone signs up to be a foster, they pick who they foster. They also pick who adopts it, and we cover all expenses. All expenses are covered. Whether it's food, training, vet care. Oh, yeah. You shouldn't have to pay a dime. That being said, you're at the checkout line at, the, at Chuck and Don's, who they're big supporters of ours, and you see a toy, you're going to buy it. Yeah. That's on you, but we have all the toys if you need them. Um, and it's and it typically, your typical foster is with you like four or five weeks. Weeks. It's really not a big deal. Now there are, deal. there are exceptions. There's some that go really fast, and there are some that are harder to place, and so that they take a little bit longer. And there's and you will not necessarily keep your foster. I've kept one in about 60 animals. It's okay. Not you, people panic. I'll keep them all. There you won't keep them all. You won't keep them all. You won't. And you guys have dogs of all breeds and sizes and ages. Uh, we can't hear Team Money. It's pretty noisy out here. I'm sorry. Is she trying to talk to us? She's trying to talk nah. to us. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah. People are just yelling and screaming. I swear, you know what? There are some of you staff that are here that I swear you work in St. Paul. Yeah. And are here. You. <laughs> but, oh, first Wednesday of the month. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the Minneapolis campus today. <laughs> Hey, you know, you do you. Uh, you know what? Let's check everybody's badges just to <laughs> make sure they work here. Uh, anyway, fostering, no. fostering, fostering, so important. Yeah, and you know what? Fostering is our number one need as an organization besides yeah. money. Um, but there are umpteen different ways that you can volunteer. For example, those of us in our red shirts, we are volunteers at puppy parties. You can volunteer to drive animals. You can volunteer to drive supplies to someone. You can temp foster right That's now. That's a great thing. You can do so many there things. There are so many different ways to get involved, and we need you. We need your help. Everybody so sign up to volunteer for Second Hand Happy Hounds. to answer any questions or just go on our website, secondhandhounds.org. Happy to help you out. We should put up a little sign or something. Oh, the background. What is our background? Let's cut um, to the... It cut was to like, me. it's just that. It's fine. That's fine. It's kind of nice. It's pretty. It looks like the Avengers office we need, like, or something. A little well, she's got a Dr. Foster on the... It's got a secondinhands.org up there. It's on the screen. The more you know. Uh, All so right, we're almost done. Does anybody done. have any questions Any questions for us before we kind of start About the puppies, about second and hounds, about adoption, fostering, rescue in general? 
I just think I just want to... Speechless. I've rendered the no, speech. Uh, and we, what was the name? It, we didn't say foster. Yeah, it is a foster fail, foster but that's okay. Foster fail. It but don't worry about it because yeah. people that foster are, or don't, I mean, people that want to foster but don't usually say, oh, I'm just going to end up keeping it. You don't. That's not going to be the case. My suggestion is if you're afraid you're going to keep a foster, foster an animal you wouldn't keep. If you love big dogs, only foster little dogs. If you like male dogs, only foster female dogs. Sure. It's just a way to work through that. And don't ever, t you know, don't typically do your first one because you don't know that you're just on that foster high. It may not be your dog. I don't have my phone, but one of the cutest breeds I've ever seen. What's that? Bermadoodle. <laughs> they are very cute. They are a hot mess. They are very difficult. We get a lot surrendered to us and rescued. Really? Yes. Why are they, why, why are they a hot mess? Doodles in general, and I'm a doodle person, so I, I will say this. Doodles in general are a hot mess. They're super social, they love everyone, and they don't know how to be trained. So they're like, I love you, and I will jump all over you. And yeah, they're big dogs, so you really have to work with them. My, my doodle I is in train. She's five years old. I train her every day to not jump, to not bark, to not do the things. Jump up and Everyone falls in love with a cute. Look, just, just research your animal. When people return an animal, 99% of the time, it's because they weren't honest with themselves about, about what yeah. they were willing to do in sure. their lives with an animal. Don't don't get a dog that likes to run if you're a couch potato. Don't get a couch potato dog if you're looking for a running partner. Yeah. Don't get a puppy if you're not willing to be home or let it out in the middle of the day. Yeah. Or you're going to complain about the poopy mess. I'm going to have these guys on. Normally, I don't work when I have litters. I will be working all day Friday, all day Sunday. They will be left alone for eight hours. There will be a lot of cleanup when I get home, but I know that. There's nothing I can do about it. Is that Minnow? Yeah. Uh, so for those who so didn't Minnow's know, because with... this is a, a backyard breeder that doesn't follow correct breed guidelines, shame, shame, shame. these guys are what's called, they're called double merles. So Minnow is the only one that we have right now. Uh, we've already lost two. Um, but he is, we knew when we saw him come out white and with blue eyes, probably deaf and blind. So he has what's called micro eye, so he can see sort of out of one, she, he, and he's loud because he can't really see well, he can't really hear well, so he's louder than the others to hear himself. Oh, wow, wow, wow. But he'll get over it. Yeah. He'll get over it. Yeah. And he's, he's not totally blind, he's not totally deaf. Thank you all for stopping by. Um, but it's just, it's just what happens when people breed animals and they don't know what they're doing. Right. Well, let's wrap this up by just kind of going through a few things. Let's name uh, how the dude, me, is like a puppy. Let's go. Number one, you I need- You like lots of treats and naps. Yep, a lot of snacking, a lot of napping. I'd say petting, but that sounds weird. Yep, let's not um, do that. Uh, but I do like attention. You do like I attention. I like a lot of attention. I like to play with a ball, you know. Yep, yep. Can, can sleep anywhere? Yep. Yep. Sounds good. I like to go on walks. I prefer puppy breast to breast. <laughs> but they're similar, but yes. However, puppy breath, well, my breath, very, you know, one is a this is because true. they're puppies and one is because I'd like to think though you are different in the potty training aspect of things. Could be wrong. You should like see a my puppy, apartment. like a puppy, you're pretty exuberant when you meet people. Yep. You know, and sometimes we have to train you to like, okay. Sometimes if I want to, if I'm not sure about something, I'll smell it or I'll lick it to see what it might be. I wouldn't advise that, but you know, you do you. Are you up to date on your tetanus shots? I have all my shots. Excellent. Good, good. We are um, after what I have been separated from my parents. I, what? What time, time is bingo? Oh, two. Okay. Is it, is it, it noon? It's after it 12. Is. Well, we should wrap it up. Okay. Two o'clock, we got Bingo coming up. Also, tomorrow at 11 is uh, another big show. I think we might have Spider-Man on our show. Fun! I know, he's gonna stop, you know, just stop, not Look solve crimes for a day. so pathetic. But, two o'clock is Bingo, stay tuned for that. Thanks, give it up for Secondhand Such House. Such drama. Yay, Donnie, give it up for the Star Studio crew. See you guys next month with See all new puppies. See you guys next month, yes. And go foster. Yes. I don't know who or we're gonna have. people too. So Until next right time. Now. Bye. Bye.